Hey, hey, good afternoon. This is Neil with Simple Future, Simple Trading, and it is Thursday, the 11th of January, which means tomorrow is Friday. Today was CPI, tomorrow's PPI. And uh, we're going to kick off some earnings also. We're going to start get started with some financials. And uh, so the question is, of course, you know, higher or lower? Well, I'm looking at it like this. Um, the SPX is what I have up today. I know we usually look at the ES, but I got a point here. And here, well, let me make the point actually show you here. Okay. So you see here in futures in 22, the high was 4808, but last year and actually even just very tail end of last year slash first of this year, the high of 4841. But that's because you get a lot of roll in futures contracts that roll and they add premium for time, um, cost of carry, that kind of thing. And that premium can be higher when in times of you know higher interest rates, which we are. So we get higher and higher like add premium ads like up to 50 points, right? Where you just roll simply from a March to a June or June to a SEP D March again. And just just one day it rolls from one contract to the next and you end up with a 50 point you know spread between a futures and an SPX. I make that point because it would appear on here that we've made a new high for the move. However, it's not true. We have not. The cash says the high was 48, uh, 18 and a half. We've traded up to about 4,800. So the cash in the SPX is actually short of making a new all-time high. Um, the high, of course, prior to that was back in 22. So what does all this mean? Well, it means, first of all, too, we've got a call the wall. The uh, spot gamma stuff that we use at Simpler has uh, options positioning that we call a call wall, i.e. overhead at 4,800. So I don't know that we can necessarily really get through the SPX, get through 4,800 in the very, very, very short term. Uh, but please remember that next week is the options expiration. We have a holiday next week too on Monday, MLK, Monday uh, markets close, but then Tuesday through Friday, there is trade all the way into Wednesday, VIX expiration, Friday, options expiration. And very often historically, we do see where price does continue during the week, during the week, okay, of expiration higher into at least the middle of the week of the expiration, which would push it higher, I guess, that would be the call, uh, into Wednesday of next week. So figure out, okay, well, what do we want to target? So let me switch back to ES here for a minute and look at the same thing, but we'll look at it on uh, now a daily on the ES to so come up with um, target. <clears throat> so what I would want to do would be to snap a fib from the high of the move at 41 down to the low of the move here at 02 and mark up an extension. We'll mark up a 1272 extension and push that out at 4880 in the uh, ES. Now we're going back to ES, this ES futures. I started with the SPX because I want to make the point that cash had not truly made a new all time high. Um, if you just look at a chart and look at the ES, it may look to you like we have when in actuality I've just made the explanation as to why we have not. But um, So this would push a target up to maybe that high, maybe 4880, you know, middle of next week. I would say 4860 or 80 something like target, you know, 4860 and 80, something like that. But we got to get through PPI tomorrow. CPI came in a little hot this morning, uh, which definitely the market um, – didn't like, but it didn't hate either because it only broke small and came all the way back. I mean, look at look at look at what it did do today. Did it break uh, from the number forty eight thirty? Yeah, it broke down to. Well, the low today was down in this area, right? And where did it go back to? All the way back to here. That's where it's going out right now today. It's going out at back at the yearly open five days, six days ago, it was down here on non-farm payroll at 47.20. And we're all the way back here at 48.20, like a week later, you know. So you can argue, well, yeah, you're like 20 off the highs. I'd be like, yeah, but we're 700 off the lows, you know, so that's not, that's not bad. So you want to be bullish or bearish? Point, I'm making a point, right? I'd say buy the dip. And um, until it slips, and it will, 
it will. We don't know when, but um, I have you know every intention of trying to hold on to this until we get to the next, I would say, major event, which will be the expiration middle of the week next week. That's what I'm thinking, middle of the week next week. Um, and then we'll look and we may have to make a new plan. Um, because if it does, you know, start to roll, then it's got a pretty fair distance that can travel. I mean, like I just said, we're 700 off the lows. So, you, you know, you redo this whole fib thing and pull next. You pull from the low at 40. I'll go with the roll adjusted 4170. Truly at that time, that was 4120. To the high of the move at 48.40, right? Look at these levels. I mean, simply a 3.82 is back to 4,600. A 50 half back is yearly pivot at 4,500. It's got, it's got a, I mean, you call it 49 back to 4,500. That's 400 points that could fall on a retracement and only be a retracement, just half back, as in a, not a big deal. So when it slips, it'll slip whenever that is, but it does not appear to be right now. So um, I'll continue to uh, try to hit those targets that I just gave you, the extensions, FIB extensions. That'll be the plan for now. That's it. Take care. Uh, good night, and um, do it again next week. But the schedule is going to be different next week. Honestly, we'll see what, what the schedule is next week because with the holiday Monday, there will be no Monday night videos. Um, we'll see what that leads to. Maybe a midweek kind of a little update in the middle of the week sort of thing. Till then, do take care and good trading. Good night. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 